visible sign of the grace of God. Inasmuch as the promise of the gospel is not only to us, but also to our children, baptism with water and the Holy Spirit is the mark of their acceptance into the care of Christ's church, the sign and seal of their participation in God's forgiveness, and the beginning of their growth into full Christian faith and discipleship. Mitch and Kristen, do you desire to have your child baptized into the faith and family of Jesus Christ? If so, please answer, we do. Baptism is a sign of what God has already done, accepting this child by grace before she has done anything to deserve it. It is a covenant made between God and parents, sponsors, pastors, and congregation a promise to bring up this child in the Christian faith, to live a Christian life, and to be responsible for bringing this child into a closer relationship with God through Jesus Christ. It is a promise to join her in worship, to introduce her to the Bible, and to pray that her faith would become her own. Baptism is done out of the belief that God will honor this covenant and out of the promise that we will honor this covenant. Mitch and Kristen, will you love, nurture, protect, and support Molly Kate, encouraging her in her independence and remain faithful to her, remembering always she is God's child entrusted to you? If so, please answer. We will with the help of God, our family, and our friends. Will you raise Molly Kate in the spirit of the gospel? Pray with her and for her, and share with her your knowledge and understanding of her Christian faith. If so, please answer, we will with the help of God, our friend, family, and our friends. <coughs> Kate, Brad, Eric, as Molly Kate's baptismal sponsors, will you commit to spending special time with Molly Kate, sharing your lives, your love, your beliefs, your Christian values, and God's unconditional love for her? Will you help her to become a strong, sensitive person, learning how to care for the many people who share this world with her? If so, please answer, we will with the help of God. And now, friends and family of Molly Kate, will you continue your treasured support and friendship with the Petersons? Will you include Mitch, Kristen, and Molly Kate in your community? And will you stand with them in their times of struggle and pain, as well as in their times of rejoicing and celebration? If so, please answer, we will with the help of God. We will with the help of God. Molly Kate's grandmother, Suzanne Gnason, has written a prayer for Molly Kate, and we would like her to offer that. Molly Kate, as you find your way through your life, may you mindfully work to live from a core of integrity, humbleness, compassion, and gratitude. Focus on beginning to understand more than being right. See your fellow human beings through the eyes of intrigue rather than judgment. Be faithful to the values you hold dear while honestly listening to others whose values are different than yours. Speak and act for justice for those who will clearly and likely never have a voice that is heard credibly. 
Find the courage to be still rather than not in those times when it is difficult to live with silence. Seek counsel from your elders. Engage each day with your ears and your eyes and your heart wide open. Experience your daily life through the power of faith, not the power of apprehension or resignation. Molly Kate, find your strength <laughs> <laughs> and be courageous every time it matters. And may the Mother God bless you and hold you in her arms for every day of your life. Amen. Join me in prayer, please. Oh God, we come before you with gratitude for the gift of Molly Kate and the life of this family and for the grace with which you surround them. We ask your blessings on Kristen and Mitch that they may be given the wisdom and grace to raise their child to be the whole person you would have her be. Someone who loves you, herself, and others. Grant that all of us gathered here as friends, relatives, and church family will help them guide their children to faith by demonstrating your love, your peace, and your justice in our own lives. Amen. This morning we have a few gifts for Molly and Kate. <clears throat> um, I should have had this earlier, a baptismal cloth lovingly made by Shirley Stelzer. It says spirit please on it, a memory on it. Her certificate, and then a candle to commemorate this day. You certainly could light it every, I guess every other day, just to remind you that she was loved and beloved by this church family and by the Church of Jesus Christ, or maybe on her birthday, that might be another day, but thanks to you. Now I'd like to invite you as a family is seated, I'd like to invite you to sing together, let's sing together, Child of Blessing, Child of Promise, and I will introduce you to Molly Kate, which I just love. <laughs> 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 <laughs>